Hello, uh, welcome to the CVPR 2021 tutorial on cross view and cross model visual geolocalization. I'm uh, Rakesh uh, Teddy Kumar from SRI International, uh, and I am uh, doing this uh, tutorial along with my colleague Hang Peng Chiu uh, from SRI International. We also have two other speakers, Mubarak Shah from University of Central Florida and Chen Chen from University of uh, North Carolina. So the tutorial is about image-based geolocalization. Given an image, we want to be able to say where was this image taken from, the latitude, longitude, altitude from where the image was taken from, and the orientation of the camera, which way was it pointing? So all six degrees of freedom. Here, you can see this example with this image, it's considering different locations. And when it, uh, given a matching location, it's showing what a straight view image was from there. So the user can verify uh, this Im image was taken really from this location. So this uh, problem of image-based localization has many applications. One application uh, is over here, which just happened uh, uh, earlier this year. Uh, I was reading this article about a missing hiker who got lost in the mountains near LA. And he texted a photo uh, from where he was to some friend. Uh, and his uh, friend uh, then sent that uh, uh, photo to the police and they uh, published it to people who like doing uh, uh, using images to geolocate where people are. And very soon someone had figured out that this is the location of the hiker and a helicopter was sent to rescue the hiker. So uh, this is a very uh, nice application uh, of this technology uh, 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 where, you know, just given a photo, you can figure out where it was taken. Uh, and it has many applications, uh, uh, autonomous cars and robots, they need to know where they are. And so matching, uh, uh, using the camera as a sensor and matching that to models of the world is uh, uh, one way. Uh, drones, uh, 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 robots, appliances. Augmented reality is another application, especially uh, outdoor augmented reality, but even, it could be even for indoors where uh, given the image uh, from your smartphone camera or from your headset, you want to be able to figure out exactly where uh, is uh, this in geographical coordinates. So then you can do insertions uh, based on geographical coordinates. And uh, this image with geolocalization is also a part uh, of what's required for building 3D models. So if you're doing image-based 3D modeling, then uh, uh, it's an ingredient there. And finally, it can be used to geotag images. And the application I gave you for the hiker uh, who got lost uh, is a very nice one. So uh, in this tutorial, we are going to cover uh, three sets of areas for solving this problem, three, three different ways. And they all are based on the reference data. So in the first uh, set of talks, we're going to talk about cross time, where the query image and the reference data are all from the ground. So they're all ground level views, uh, but the reference data may have been taken at different times of the day. The query image may be day or night. Uh, and it could be, you know, the difference between the images could be uh, uh, basically uh, 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 different seasons, uh, different weather conditions, uh, different times. So uh, that's the challenge when you have to do cross time. But the one thing is that they're all uh, uh, taken from the same ground viewpoint. The second uh, uh, way to do this is cross view, where the imagery is from the ground, but the reference is aerial. So it's very easy to collect uh, uh, aerial reference data, much easier than collecting ground reference data. Uh, especially if you want to uh, collect it everywhere. Uh, and so, uh, you know, you can collect, get aerial imagery from satellites or from aerial uh, uh, things, or you can even use things like uh, 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 Google Earth and things like that to, to get aerial imagery. But it's 
it's easy to get aerial imagery for reference, but then you need to match the ground image to that. And that can be quite challenging because the viewpoints have changed quite a bit. The third is cross modal. So you have ground imagery as queries. You may be ma matching that to maps to know where you are, or you may be matching it to another modality such as LIDAR to know where you are. So we'll, we'll give you uh, tutorials and talks on the techniques for each one of these cross time, cross view and cross model. So uh, as I said, uh, there are many applications uh, for this technology. One of them is navigation for self-driving cars. Uh, currently self-driving cars use LIDAR with GPS, uh, et cetera, to be able to navigate. You, we've all heard about the Waymo cars to go around and build very accurate maps. And then when you're driving in the future, you match to that. So here, the, uh, uh, the view is instead of matching to LIDAR, suppose you had ground images which were collected or aerial images, as I said earlier, much easier to collect aerial images or aerial LIDAR. And now can you uh, locate yourself the platform by matching the images from the car or the robot to this reference data? And uh, uh, the, here are some references of work uh, which we have done in the past uh, uh, for doing exactly this. The second application is large scale augmented reality, uh, where as the user is moving around and especially outdoors, you want to be able to locate where the user is in very accurately so that you can show them uh, uh, things which are georeferenced. So there's a building over here or the garage is over here. If I play this video, you, you can see these uh, uh, in, uh, little dots with uh, 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 textual icons that have been inserted are, very, are, are quite stable. And that's because the system is able to figure out exactly uh, uh, where the user is, even without GPS, uh, uh, by doing this matching of the video to this reference database of imagery. Uh, and uh, based on that, uh, 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 be able to place the icons in a very stable way. And this could be used both for uh, 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 dismounts, uh, 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 people walking around, could also be used for uh, uh, platforms. Uh, like The third uh, application uh, uh, is uh, for drones and things like that where you want to know where the platform is very accurately. And here, uh, uh, what we're doing is we're taking a video from a drone uh, and matching it to reference imagery. And what we're doing is we're taking the reference image and an underlying uh, 3D model or train model, and then rendering that image from where we think the platform is, and then matching the rendered reference image to the video image to locate it. And uh, 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 so this, uh, uh, this kind of technology where you're rendering the reference uh, data uh, to, the, uh, to match the uh, input query image and then locate a platform can be used both for drones and also for ground platforms. And uh, it, it can be used when, even when GPS is not present. Uh, so here's an application of a, 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 a helicopter, uh, actually, it's a drone looking at a person walking around, and there's a 3D model of that site. And here, what you see is uh, we are matching edges from the video to the 3D model. And by matching them, we're able to locate the platform very accurately. And then we can reproject uh, the video uh, onto the platform so you get a much uh, 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 you, you get sort of a bird's eye view of the video, not like a pseudo-star view of the video. You can see in context where the video is. And this is another application of being able to uh, register the video uh, uh, to uh, uh, the world so that you, you can locate it very precisely and you can locate objects which you see in the video very precisely. So you're going to hear uh, four talks now. Uh, the first talk uh, will be uh, cross weather, cross time, uh, and I'll be giving it. And I'll be talking about coast search using neural networks and fine geolocalization and end to end solutions. Then uh, Mubarak Shah from the University of Central Florida 
is going to speak about same view and cross view geolocalization. And he's going to talk about a variety of techniques. I've just uh, highlighted two of them over here image geolocalization using constrained uh, domain sets for same view kind of problems and GAN based approaches for alignment based on synthesis for cross view. And uh, then the third talk will be large scale cross view image geolocalization by Chen Chen from University of North Carolina. And he's going to talk about cross view image geolocalization beyond one to one retrieval and other uh, related problems. And then finally, uh, uh, my colleague, uh, uh, Hang Peng Chiu from SRI is going to speak about cross modal visual geolocalization. Uh, using 3D LiDAR data for visual, visual localization and using maps for visual localization. So uh, uh, at any time uh, during these talks, you can ask questions on the chat and uh, we, we will uh, try and answer them. And also all the slides and uh, videos uh, will be posted on the tutorial website, the links for them. So you can also download them or, or watch the videos on YouTube, et cetera. So uh, thank you and uh, uh, please ask any questions. <laughs>